Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the BeagleBone GPIO libraries onto the BeagleBone itself. Now I'm going to go into this video assuming you have watched my previous video on how to install BeagleBone Black drivers as well as write code for the BeagleBone using this library. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the internet and type in BBB GPIO libraries in C. Okay, Hit enter. Now you're going to want to click on this first one, BeagleBone Black, BBB, bunch of this stuff. Okay, so click that. And then it's going to take you to this website. If this isn't the website you clicked on, I'm going to post a link in the description. Just click on that link and it should take you to the right one. So then you're going to scroll down, all the way down, until you find this little box here. Okay, now you're going to download iofunk v2.zip. Okay, we will save it to my downloads folder. Okay, now open your downloads folder or wherever you saved it to. Give me a second. Okay, so now. You're going to right click on that folder and you're going to say extract all. Extract it. So now it's going to open up in this folder. You click out of that. Now find it in here. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Double click on it. Open that. Now you're going to see that you have five files here. Okay, iolib.c, iolib.h, libiofunk.a, make file, and test underscore app.c. We are only going to use these first three the iolibc, iolib.h, and libiofunk.a. Okay, so now don't delete these, just leave them there, but we're only going to use these. So what you're going to want to do is open up PSFTP. Okay, we installed that in the last video. So you're going to type open 192.168.7.2. Okay, if it says potential security breach, just hit yes. Uh, login as root. Okay, so now cd, enter, cd, dot, dot. cd, we are going to go to slash user slash lib. Okay. So now the remote directory is now slash user slash lib. Now what we're going to want to do is type input quotation C. Now this part is where you are going to find the directory in which these files right here are stored. So for me it's going to be C users John downloads iofunk underscore v2 iofunk. Okay. Now again, make sure this is in quotes, otherwise this won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in. You navigate to your directory and find what this is. Okay, so users, John, downloads, iofunk2, iofunk. Now you're going to go iolib.c. Okay, so now it shows that it from the local C users John downloads to remote slash user slash lib, it is placed iolib.c. Now after you did that, hit up on the keypad and it'll bring that exact same command up. So now you're going to want to delete iolib.c and that's it, just delete that. Now type lib io func dot a okay so all you're doing is replacing iolib.c here with libiofunk.a hit enter now that transferred okay so now you're going to type cd cd dot dot cd space slash user slash include Okay, so now the remote directory is now slash user slash include. Now you're going to type input, quotate, quotation mark, sorry. Now you're going to type the exact same thing as before. So the exact same path as you had here. C, 
users john downloads io funk to io funk now you're going to do io lib.c hit enter okay so it should have transferred over now you're going to hit up on the keypad again and all you're going to do is delete the c and you're going to replace it with h then hit enter and then it should work okay again we typed in this line right here m put c users john downloads iofunk underscore v2 iofunk iolib.c and then we hit up on the arrow pad or keypad the up arrow and then all we did was deleted this c and replaced it with an h and hit enter that's all okay so now that that's done we'll do cd and then we'll do cd slash home slash debian slash desktop now the remote directory is now home debian desktop now we're going to type input quotations again and now you're going to find where your pin.c program is located okay so mine's on my desktop i'm going to use pin underscore 2.c just because that's what i had i had another program to test but you use whatever program you want uh, whatever code you want to test so come back to here so mine is c users john desktop pin.c Okay, so now it placed it from the local C users John desktop to the remote home Debian desktop. Okay, so now that everything is placed over, you, all your libraries and all of your code is placed over, you can go ahead and type exit. Now you're going to want to go into PuTTY. Open up PuTTY. Open up Buglebone Black SSH. Log in as root. Type CD cd dot dot cd slash home slash debian I can type okay so now you're at the desktop so now what you're going to want to do is compile your code using gcc pin underscore two dot c or pin dot c whatever the name of your code is space dash lio funk dash o main okay so what this says is it's going to compile the per, the file pin underscore two dot c or pin dot c in your case with the library lio funk and output it as main now again i went over this in the last video but just to recap main can be called anything you can name it whatever you want so then hit enter Oh, whoops, I messed up there. Give me a second. Okay, so again, type the same command, GCC. It compiled. Now you type dot slash main or whatever you typed right here. If you typed test, then you have to do dot slash test. But I did main, so I'm going to do dot slash main. And as you can see, the code ran. And the code I currently writ wrote is making an LED blink, and that is happening on my BeagleBone. So um, that's it. It's very simple. That's how you install the IOLib libraries on your BeagleBone. If you have questions, uh, you can leave a comment or send me an email. Thanks, guys.